Hello and welcome to Dr. Carey's Clinical Corner. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit less clinical and a little bit different topic than normal. Um, so I have a question for you. Does personal experience make you an expert? And I want to discuss this. So interestingly, this came up uh, yesterday in one of my physical therapy sessions. So I was working with this client who had a knee replacement and she has a lot of anxiety, she asks a lot of questions, which is totally normal and totally fine. I feel like half of my job as a physical therapist is to uh, ease people's anxieties, tell them what's normal, what's like a normal process, what's abnormal, what's a risk, we need to check it out, we need to go back to the doctor, whatever. That's half of my job. Um, and, you know, she's sort of nearing the end of her physical therapy with me and she was like, have you been through this? You're, you're, you know so much about this. Like, are you sure you haven't had this surgery? And I was like, I could show you my knees. They're, they're virgin knees. They've never had surgery. Um, and that sort of got me thinking about this topic. Like, does personal experience make you an expert? I don't think so. And here's why. Um, because I wouldn't have a, this profession, right? Like physical therapy, medicine wouldn't exist if I had to go through everything I treated people for, right? Like I've never had knee surgery. I've never been pregnant. I had a baby. I haven't had most of the problems that I treat people for, but I can get them better. And that's where expertise really comes in is I've studied this. I've trained for it. I know it's normal. I, what, I know it's not normal. I know what's expected. I know how to get there. You know, in physical therapy in general, and especially in pelvic floor therapy, there is uh, not a lot of research. Like, we would love it to say, like, do XYZ exercises, right? And it takes X amount of visits, but we don't have that information. Um, but we can say, like, we know it typically takes this amount of time, you know, like, this is the normal process, you should gain this every week or whatever. At this point in time, you should be able to do this. Um, <clears throat> and I bring this up because in today's online world, people are selling their expertise based on their one personal experience. And I think that's very dangerous. Um, you know, also sort of have a lot of thoughts that are hard to like uh, know where to go. but. In pelvic floor therapy, when I first started, I felt a little weird about this, that like I hadn't been pregnant, I hadn't given birth, um, because a lot of women get into, a lot of pelvic floor therapists become pelvic floor therapists because of their own experience. And maybe now that I'm older, I've been doing it a while, like I'm known for this, like uh, maybe people don't question that as much, but it felt weird for me at first. But also, like, I studied this, I learned about this, I, I learned the process of what to do, um, and I became an expert in this. And I remember early on in working in the specialty, I have a friend who's a nurse, who's a labor and delivery nurse, and she would get asked the same questions too. So somehow maybe it has something to do with, like, pregnancy and birth, that uh, people think you can't work in this field unless you've been through it. Um, and I remember her telling me this a long time ago, that she would tell her patients, like, you know, I, I used to work on the surgical floor, and I didn't have the knee surgery or the hip surgery, but I could take care of those patients. So, like, even though I haven't been through pregnancy and birth, I can take care of you. Um, and this was many years ago, and now I think full circle in the online world, uh, this is what's touted as like, you can be an expert because you went through this process. Um, and let me give you some like physical world examples that are terrible, I think. Um, you know, I think the fitness world is a good example of this. There's no standard. You could get an online certification and, and be a personal trainer and you, you're just a gym bro um, and you just train everyone the way you train, but like there's a whole human variety, right? Then you're gonna injure people. Um, that's how people end up in physical therapy. It's great for my profession. Um, but you know, I remember having conversations with good trainers and they were like, it's really hard for us to charge a lot of money because we're experts, because we've taken a lot of classes, you know? And to them, they kind of hated it that uh, there was no standard. 
and I'm gonna piss off a lot of people when I say this, but I also see this in the birth world that there is no standard for doulas, right? Um, and so I think a lot of people become doulas because of their own birth experience, which I think your own experience can be a great motivator to go learn and become an expert and help other people. So I'm not saying like your experience is nothing, but instead of just saying like i experienced this so now i want to help you to like have a better experience i think that's a great starting point but that doesn't make you an expert to help other people so in the research world and my nerdy friends and i joke about this um in the research world it's n however many uh study subjects you have in a, a research study it's like n of whatever um so if you have 300 people it's like n of 300 right and the research has more credibility and you can extrapolate it to more of the population if you have a bigger number in your study, right? So if you have six participants, it doesn't have a lot of credibility. It's like, okay, maybe this is like a stepping stone and in introduction, but we need to research this with a bigger number of people. Um, and so my nerdy friends and I, we joke about, oh, I experienced this, so I'm an N of one, N equals one, my, I'm the only subject in the study right and so that's where i think the problem comes in is people have their experience and usually it's a negative experience that like people want to help others and you know i think that's really noble but if you're only going on your own experience you're an n of one and so you can't extrapolate n of one to anyone else really like there's no research study that's based on n of one um there might be case studies so there's sort of like a hierarchy of research and at the very very top the the best research is randomized control trials so it's double blinded placebos you know like no one no one either the researchers nor the participants know if they're the the getting the intervention or if they're placebo group that's the peak of research. And at the very bottom, we have case study. So sometimes things that are rare, they start with a case study, like we saw this interesting thing, we wrote a paper about it. But in the hierarchy of research, a case study has not a lot of weight to it. Um, and so what's happening outside of the science medical world is people are case studies, N of one, my experience, and then they're saying, I'm an expert. Um, and the problem with that is like, you don't know, is your experience normal? Are you an outlier? Is there some other factor that created that experience for you? You know, and there's a lot of areas of life that people are experts on, right? Like based on their experience that we don't have any research on, right? Um, so I'm not saying it's all for nothing and I think what I'm saying is that should motivate you to go get training to be able to help people um, and not just based on you because I think personally for a lot of people if you experience something negative and you don't have any other training in that you have a bias that everything in, in that area is negative right and again I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this but I see this in the birth world, right? People had a bad birth experience, a really negative birth experience, and I'm not negating that. I'm saying 100% that happens, and I, I'm, I think that's a great place to motivate you to go help others, but you're gonna have a bias, like, oh, this happened to me, so this must be the normal. I don't want this to happen to anyone else, you know, and then that creates other problems. Um, you know, for example, in the birth world, I see a lot of people being like, hospital birth is bad, right? They force you to do all these things. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but is a hospital birth bad for everyone? No. What if you have complications? What if you have a high risk pregnancy? What if you, your baby is born with complications, right? Like then you're on site, you have a medical team. Do we over intervene in pregnancy and birth? Uh, probably very likely in this country, um, but that doesn't mean everything is bad and everyone's gonna have this bad experience. And maybe not everyone wants to have the experience that you have, right? Um, and I think that sort of comes with time and working with a lot of people that you see, like not everyone wants to have the experience I have, right? Like 
not everyone wants to have surgery. Not everyone wants to have a natural birth. Um, some people want to do surgery. Some people want to take meds. Some people want to do physical therapy. Some people are willing to work really hard to get better. Some people want the surgery or the medicine. And, and I think with time and maturity, you realize like, those are your choices. You make your choice that's best for you. I can give you my opinion. I can give you my medical expertise. Um, I can give you the facts, right? But that doesn't mean my choice is your choice. And I think that's the problem with people who's N of one are suddenly experts. And I'll also say, this is encouraged. Um, so I took an online course of how to make online courses. Uh, you can literally sell anything on the internet. Um, and the course was good. It had a lot of good technical information, but the course instructor kept saying like, make your course like based on your experience, sell your story as you are the expert because you went through this and you came out the other side. And so your course is going to be based on your experience. Um, and that's, that's it. You sell your story, you know, and I'll take nutrition as an example in this one, because I think there's a lot of there's minimal regulation in the nutrition world. Like dietitians, I think only have to be registered in certain states. Um, and anyone can call themselves a nutritionist. Uh, so there's a lot of people out there saying like, I had X medical condition or I had this problem. I did this. This is the nutrition plan I followed and this was my outcome. So now I'm going to sell that to everyone based on N of one, right? Um, but you don't know if everyone had your problems and if they're going to have your outcome. And that's really the, the risk of saying I'm an expert based on my experience. Um, so take that experience and go get some more education and training to become an expert to help more people. Um, and that's, that's really like such a big problem I see on the internet is everyone's an expert based on their story. And I think about that and physical therapy wouldn't exist. Medicine wouldn't exist. And I think some of those people making those courses, calling themselves experts on the internet, they're anti that they probably had a bad experience. And I'm not negating that bad experience. Like I work in healthcare and I've had bad experiences. I thought like I can navigate the healthcare system. No, in America, it's shit. It's hard to navigate. It's terrible. No one has time for you. Um, yeah, so I thought like, oh, I, I work in healthcare, I can navigate it better. Like I had terrible experiences too, but that doesn't mean like all healthcare is bad, all medicine is bad, right? Like doctors gave me the wrong medicine that didn't help me and, and probably made me worse for longer. But that doesn't mean like all medicine is bad, right? Like, and that's, I think what I see is happening. That's our culture at the moment, right? Like. We're going to take everything to the extreme, right? And we need really like nuance. Like I had this experience. That doesn't mean that's your experience, um, good or bad, right? Like what helped me is not necessarily what's going to help you. And what was bad for me is not necessarily bad for you. It, that might help you. Even though it was bad for me, it might help you. Um, but yeah, I really, really see this a lot. And I just wanted to talk about it on my channel where I could talk about whatever I want. So I want to know below, do you agree or disagree with me? Do you think your experience makes you an expert? And yeah, I want to know in the comments. So anyway, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this and I don't really care because um, it's my channel. I could say what I want, right? And that's the internet. Everyone can say what they want. Um, but I have actually studied physical therapy. You know, um, I think that's sort of another difference is, you know, a medical doctor, a physical therapist, we have formal education, we have testing to say like we're competent in this. Um, and nowadays there's a whole bunch of online certifications or we could just, some things don't have certifications or has very like loose certifications, right? Like nutrition is one of those areas. Personal training is one of those areas. And there's some very good personal trainers and some very terrible ones. There's some very, very good people in the nutrition world. And there's some people just, they have no idea what they're talking about, right? Um, and so I think it's hard in industries or specialties that have no standard that, you know, 
anyone can say like I took this weekend course or I took this online course and now I'm an expert so now I'm going to sell you my expertise um, but you know also I think expertise comes with time right so like I think about when I was a new physical therapist versus now many many years later that's why I can confidently say to my patient who had knee surgery this is the process and this is normal and this is abnormal this is normal you're gonna get to the other side you know and I think that really helps me and helps them to say like I've seen tons of people go through this and I know what the process is and I can encourage you to stick with it and like this will be the outcome and this is likely the timeline of the outcome um, versus like when you're new out of school a new physical therapist you don't have that much experience so you can't really say that and not to say you're not a good physical therapist but just um, you don't have that much experience so you know that is has been proven has been researched with surgeons right like you want someone a better surgeon has more years of experience like it's a skill it gets better with time um, you know I tell my patients like ultimately what you want in a surgeon is someone who's young enough to know the new technology but old enough to have experience and have done a lot of surgery right and there's also you know um, we know like 10,000 hours makes you an expert at something and so it takes a lot to get 10,000 hours so my n of one my personal experience is nowhere near 10,000 hours um you know 10,000 hours is five years full-time work I think um and so yeah it takes a lot to be an expert uh so let me know what you think you can you can disagree with me I'm okay with that I know this is a controversial st subject um you know and I think it's going to be split like if you have formal training you're going to say absolutely you can't be an expert without like just based on your experience and probably there's people who don't have a lot of formal training who will say i'm an expert right i lived this experience and absolutely you are the expert of your lived experience your body your 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 experience but that doesn't translate to say like i can help everyone who has this same thing because you only know your experience and maybe over time if you work with a lot of people you will expand your experience and then maybe become an expert um, but I think you need formal training to be an expert not just personal experience all right I hope you don't all quit following me because of this <laughs> see you next time